Welcome back to rmucolonials.com. I'm Matt Geico with head volleyball coach Dale Starr. And coach, you just came back from a tournament in Milwaukee. You played some tough competition up there. You also faced West Virginia here at home, a Big 12 school. What have you gained? What have you learned about your team over that span? Well, we've been uh, we've been messing with some different lineups, and we've had pretty much a different lineup every every match on of the the first four that we played. So we're, we're really just trying to see what's going to work best for us uh, once we get to conference. We're seeing who's going to be able to step up, who's going to be able to play well in given situations. And, and um, you know, we've got a little bit more versatility than we've had in the past, so we're, we're really trying to feel, feel our way through that in competition and uh, see who's going to step up. And certain people have stepped up at different times, and, um, you know, certain people have stepped up consistently, and we're, you know, we're just trying to work our way through. I think this weekend we'll have a lot better showing than we did last weekend. Um, as far as we've got some some positions that are that are getting kind of cemented in, and, and uh, the kids are starting to settle into some roles. One of your players that did quite well this past week and earned NEC Player of the Week for that was outside hitter Arden Fisher. What has she done well for you so far? Arden does a lot of things really well. Uh, she's really stepped up and and solidified her game. She doesn't make nearly the amount of unforced errors as she as she was making a year ago. Um, offensively, defensively, serve, receive. I think she, uh, opposing teams served her 110 times, and I think they only had two aces on her. Um, you know, she's passing extremely well. She she reads the game very well. She's got a very high volleyball IQ, and, and uh, she's really stepping up and, and becoming a very, very consistent, solid player for us. And now coming up this weekend, you have the Invitational here on your home court. You bring in three schools. What are your expectations and what are your goals for your team as this uh, event arrives on the schedule? Well, we expect to put ourselves in a position to win matches. I mean, it's you know it's been a rough first four. Uh, I think I thought we should have won the North Dakota State match. Um, I thought we should have had the Miami match should have gone to five sets, and you know we, we were we're in positions. We've just got to learn to execute and get over the hump in those in those tight situations. And you know the more we keep putting ourselves in those positions, the sooner it's going to happen. And, and I anticipate us to be in those positions again with all three teams. Uh, we faced Youngstown and Indiana State and UMass Lowell uh, all last year. Um, we lost to Youngstown in four, we lost to Indiana State in four, and then we beat UMass Lowell in three. So, you know, I, I expect us to, to compete and put ourselves in position to win three matches this weekend. All right, Coach, thanks for the time. We appreciate that. Thank you. Remember to check out coverage of the tournament on rmucolonials.com this week. This to be joined by sophomore outside hitter Arden Fisher. She just recorded her fourth consecutive double-double, and the NEC gave her the Player of the Week award because of that. Arden, you've been successful, but the uh, team's still looking for the first win. So what do you like about what you're doing so far and how your teammates have set you up? I think I'm playing very physical, but it all relates back to my team. and We're all playing very well together right now. <laughs> coming up this weekend, you have the Invitational. Three teams coming in, so it's going to be a lot of action on your home court, though. What are your expectations for the upcoming matches? win obviously but I want to see some good competition and for us to fight and end out on top. Appreciate the time. Thank you for joining us.